high up, I would like to thank Kata for giving me an opportunity to present my research during this conference. My presentation is titled Comet Based Monitoring by Which One? It is a presentation from my recent research, which was designed based on the findings of my PhD study. During my PhD research, I actually found that financial accountability was a persistent challenge that was affecting health outcomes among the rural communities in Tanzania. I therefore proposed the community-based monitoring approach as a solution that needs to be tested. Community-based monitoring is an oversight approach within the communities, by the communities, and for the communities. It is driven by the felt community needs and adapted to local knowledge and resources, as well as the values of the needs. And also, it involves continuous monitoring and learning with the primary purpose of improving health outcomes. It also involves some kind of partnership where the virtues like mutual trust, two-way communication, and collaboration are very important. So basically what we wanted to do was to assess the effect and feasibility of CBM for improving accountability. And our variables were for address, service deliver, service responsiveness, and improvement in community partnership. We adopted the process normalization theory, which suggests that interventions will be success if they are integrated in the day-to-day -day practices of the communities. We use the community engagement techniques and household surveys to assess the changes that we are taking place. Now, what are the findings? Overall, we found that there was a 7.4% improvement in the scores. The score improved from 6.51 to 7.25 out of 10. And specifically, there was significant improvement in terms of agents to participate in primary health care management, as well as the strength of community partnership. But the improvement was relatively low in terms of service delivery and status and the responsiveness of primary health services. Now what does this mean? It means investing efforts in empowering the community without the position in the government institutions and providers respond to the needs of the communities may not work effectively. We also found that there was an increasing sense of solidarity where the communities were identifying themselves as a solution rather than blaming each other as a source of the problems they had. We also noted that responsibility was increasing actual ownership, the thinking that nobody would come from outside and help the communities out of the problems they had. We also learned that trust in science and scientific solution was increasing among the communities and also that normalization was cost effective in the way that it was easy to increase the uptake, acceptability and possibly the sustainability of the interventions. In general, our findings suggest that there is a need that future engagement and empowerment research go beyond partnerships, building partnerships. We need to have extended partnerships in which the scientists, the lay communities, the government, and service providers are all involved. Thank you.